So you should be having this uh, folder Apex 2023 container training. And when you look inside, you have these materials. So if you look at the PDF, you can get the step-by-step -step procedure for uh, the whole process. Okay, it's, it's about 65 pages and it shows you how to access data for weather and others and what are the different tools that will be using in this uh, training. Okay, we have the winner text tool uh, to run the model. We have the Apex editor and also uh, input data with a uh, preparation tool uh, for the daily basis and for the monthly basis. We have also another tool, soil water characteristics, okay, to generate uh, soil properties uh, once you have the soil texture uh, information. And Apex Cute is uh, a tool for automatic calibration. So this is also another uh, tool. And we have also the heat unit calculator in order to compute the heat unit for uh, different crops. So basically, you can, you can get uh, these all tools from the materials. And these tools are the ones that we'll be using for this training. is the WinApex version for this training so you have the WinApex uh, which was uh, released in 2015 so you can double click on it you install this uh, WinApex model Okay. 
So if you reach at this point, you can just play or finish. So now you already sort of in How it would try to uh, to see uh, results in most part plus plus. So now we are done with installing the most part plus. The other to this Apex uh, editor is uh, a macro, an Excel macro. You don't have to install it. So we will just open and use it when uh, the time comes to use it. Okay, so you don't have to install the editor. And Archapex is just for your information. If you are interested to work with Archapex, uh, you, of course you need the uh, ArcGIS version for this part. For this part. Archapex skills. So some people, if you don't have mineral, you might not be able to open the zip files. So you can use this. Calibration tools for Apex. So Apex use version two. You can just double click on it. Yes. 
So just follow the wizard next. Next, uh, say there is already a folder for my uh, but if this one is storing as new, you should not be getting that message. <coughs> okay, this is a uh, automatical basic fluid. We'll be using this uh date for with super high velocity. This is used to uh, estimate the soil characteristics using the transport function. Uh, so there is a tool called super high velocity and there are some nodes. So you can install this one as well. And yes, just follow the wizard. Accept the agreement. Next and then this and you get this code. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 Power and knowledge. and then Apex. Ah, this one is together or uh, different? This, this different. one is just for hydrology uh, soil characteristics. So we, uh, first we have the soil texture, and then we provide the soil texture to the spa hydrology. And we get detailed characteristics of the soil cell density, and soil water content, and others. So we extract that information and provide it to the Apex data. So, if you are pleased, this is the tool for uh, spa hydrology. You can just provide a name. You can provide a name here. And save the bit. <coughs> so, when we select to use this, we will go here. Uh, change the unit into metric system. We will be coming around and we'll get to the spot before we proceed to the music. Yeah, and then we need we don't have to be installing Arctic Sanitary Weather uh, Statistics, this is the loss. Uh, so we don't need to install and I will show you how we use this tool later on. And the other is the heat unit calculation. So we need to compute also uh, heat unit, it's also an Excel. Uh, base calculator, so we don't need to install this one, we just use it. So we are uh, then installing the required uh, software, Spal Hydrology, Minaplex, and the Apple Skill, and plus the Notepad uh, editor. So if you are not done installing this, so we need to go around and then install it. Okay. The hard point, uh, there are uh, here a number of uh, slides, uh, so the first one is the one I presented this morning, introduction about the Apex model, and we'll have also some uh, presentation on procedures, and uh, so the third one is on Apex data structure, how does it look like? Fourth is Apex calibration and uncertainty analysis. And day five will be, there will be a demo how you will be integrating Apex with the other IDCS models. So every 
slides are presented in the PPT folder, so you can read them. Okay, you already have this one. And a text demo is a demonstration how you uh, how you get uh, data from SWAT in pharmacy, and then how can also share the data uh, to SWAT. <coughs> It's, uh, it's public domain. Yes, yeah, public domain. It's public domain mode. It's available for free uh, for everyone. And papers. Also here, there are some publications. Uh, important publications related to uh, objects. So you can record them. But there are also other publications that I showed you. The website, right? I already provided the website for Apex. So, when you go there, there are uh, manuals and publications that you can uh, get from. So, in the manual section, also you have the manual for the different versions of Apex. Uh, you have manual for the Win Apex. Uh, here, uh, WinApex user guide, AppApex manual, iAppex, internet with uh, Apex, and Apex skills. This is our calibration tool manual, and Apex 0806 user guide. Okay, and theoretical documentation, training resources, and how also you can how you can create conservation practice with Apex. So, Apex on the big practice manual is also here. So, lots of manuals here, and you can get it also from the website. And so, the other is that you put data for Apex, mainly we use soil information, uh, watershed uh, characteristics mainly derived from uh, SWAT characteristics or to have uh, field-based information and then weather data. These are the main uh, inputs for Apex that we'll be using in this training. So we'll see them one by one. So this is about the input data for Apex. And we'll uh, See in detail about the operate, operation file for Apex and the calibration, uh, how we proceed with calibration, uh, also here. So we'll see this later on. So, so far, we need to make sure that if, if there is some challenge in installing the material, I mean, the software will be just for now. Thank you. 